Uh, I think from uh, moving here internationally, I think for me one of the challenges was finding a place to live here in Aachen. And that, that is, I think, a challenge here. There are a lot of students who want to study here. And from people that I had talked to who studied in the same program before me, I had just heard that you should just start looking early. Uh, you should take advantage of, for instance, the Vege Gesucht website. And you should, if you're going to plan to arrive in August, for instance, maybe you should start looking at the very uh, beginning of July or even mid-June, start sending emails out. And I think that the one thing that I would recommend is uh, to new students, don't, uh, don't just send emails that have a couple lines. You should give people more information about yourself. And that really is helpful. Well, I think I can give some advices about this. Um, the first thing is that you have to understand that when you come to Germany, you have to do a lot of things on your own. And maybe in other, th in other places, it's very, very different. You have to, to search information of your own and you, can, you, you have to have the initiative. Um, most of the time, you don't have to be shy. You have to ask because you are learning. You have to find the persons that know how the things are done and find other people that also want to know how the things work here because you have to learn that and it may be much very very much information but if you are not alone and you ask the other persons you will make it, it will be much easier than just searching for that in internet um, also if you want to live with with more people's more people i think that's also fine because they have already experience in the city, in the country, and they can also give you very, very good advice. I think the most important advice is that you don't have to, to be alone. Don't try to be alone. Don't try to, to search the things on your own because there are a lot of things that have been already discovered and the other people know how they work. You just have to ask. Don't be shy because you are coming here, you are new, and you have to learn everything from scratch, maybe. But it's good. Uh, I would say, first of all, that yes, with a bad German, it's not impossible to study in Germany because with uh, a lot of wish, you can do it because it's just a question of, of will and if you learn German words, uh, it will be okay finally. So yes, it's my advice. Uh, yes, take your take yes take your uh, luggage and come in Germany and you will see it will be a beautiful experiment firstly I would say, I would say that you're making a good decision to study in Germany you will definitely be surprised and impressed by the infrastructure and the quality of education here my first advice would be if it's Aachen please start searching for your accommodation do approach a lot of the lot of uh, interactive websites that you have the university supports you a lot but it's very true that the early bird catches the fly so once you start off with your application whether you get the seat or not make your application for example in my own home you can apply six months beforehand you come to Aachen so if you make it fantastic so you'll be able to get a, your room soon after coming here, if not, of course, you can cancel that application soon. So first, start off with your application for accommodation, make contacts through various social networks. And then, of course, if whether you're a boy or a girl, if you have been cooking in your home, start to learn cooking. And also, uh, start to like the food here. It's quite different, but uh, as Indians, I think uh, we do adapt and this food is also getting spicier here in Germany. I think that it's wise to look for housing before you come. I think it's really worthwhile to, after you've spent a semester here, taken classes and, for instance, taken your exams, you should start maybe looking into some of the institutes that are involved in your faculty. I think that there's a tremendous amount of research that is done here and it's really up to you if you want to put the effort in to 
to learn something outside of just your courses. And I think it's a great way to learn. So I would recommend that you take advantage of the research and try and look for a Hebe job. You can learn a lot that way. So that's my recommendation.